Hi guys, Bruce here. So today I'm going to be installing the fuel pump on the K on the Kohler K210. And the modern one is plastic. I couldn't get an old one. Probably could have if I'd have shopped long enough and spent enough money uh, to get the original one from eBay or something like that. But this one is actually not bad. Uh, here is the old one. Right down here now. We're moving down. Way down. Look up. Way up. And I'll call Rusty. <laughs> now, for my American friends, you don't know what that is, but that's Friendly Giant. We were all raised with him. Most of us. So anyway, here we go. The old fuel pump does not pump. It's no good anymore. And the new fuel pump comes with these really weird looking things here. And I... I looked at this, that comes with a ring, eh? like a snap ring, and I looked at this and looked at this and looked at this, and I just was not, I couldn't figure out how to, what, what on earth are they talking about, right? So anyway, let's look at the, this pump here. It's, it's sitting like this, right? Now, on my pump, both inlets and outlets were facing out, so it'll go out and up to the carburetor, and then out to the fuel tank, and I like that. Because if they're faced up a little bit and it ends up being back in a tractor, it's going to be a little hard to reach these. So I'm going to do the same thing that this pump, that this pump has on this pump. So what are these snap rings for? Well, let's just show you. You hook, you, you get the snap ring in the snap ring pliers and you put it into... Now, first of all, I removed these little plastic things here. You see those insertions? Don't do that. That is supposed to stay there with the little nubs facing out. I think you'll understand what I'm talking about in just a minute. You take this ring and you pop it over here like that. Oh, whoop. Pop it over here like that and onto that hole like whoop. <laughs> First time, no take twos in YouTube. Oh, I'm sure there's take twos. Not much on my channel though. Okay, so we're going to plop this onto that one. So that, that snap ring squashes that ring. Do you see that? And then, because we want both of them facing out, I've decided, we insert this like this, if we can. Man. There, I moved it up a little bit. Good. And we want it facing out, and then we squish it. We just squish it in. Okay? So right at 12 o'clock, we push this in as hard as we can. No, well, not as hard as you can. You don't use a vice or anything like that. I want to go one less cog. I want it facing exactly out. There we go. Just like the old one, right? Do you see that? And once you get it pushed all the way in, all the way around, I'm going to twist this one off. So it does scratch it a little bit. Just like that. Isn't that cool? Now I'm going to do the other one, but first I want to thank ADD. What's his name? ADD is multitasking. I wonder if it's got some humor to attention deficit disorder or if his initials are ADD. <laughs> it's a good, good YouTube name. So now let's just do the other side. Uh, he drags his up. He dragged his, his, uh, snap ring up. I'm not sure. I like using the, I'm sure it would work, same way I took it off, right? Hmm. I should put the pump down, eh? Okay, let's do this. There and there. One on there, and one on there. Make sure it's poked in. 
and I want the same as it was before, sticking straight out. Good. It's good. There, that was a nice sound. Now. Not quite in all the way yet. There we go. I'm going to twist this off while I've got it pushing in. And that's it. Now what he did, and I'm going to do what he did because he had luck. He poured some oil in here. But before we do that, we're going to get the we're going to go back to the engine and we're going to have a look at what we've got. Okay, now we have a little bit of sunlight issue. Good. I'm going to take this plate off and we're going to add the pump. Now, what are those? I think those are probably 716s, eh? That's cheap. I'm not going to be reusing those bolts. Now there is a... The old gasket is on there, but I'm going to change it. Get a rag. I'm just going to wash that up. <clears throat> a little bit of carb spray. And a can of oil. I'm just going to put carb spray on the rag, not on the engine block. I'm going to get a chisel and clean that up too. Hmm. There we go. There's the old gasket on there, eh? I know I could cut myself. No fear around here, unfortunately. Tiny bit of steel wool just to make myself feel better. Steel wool is a good thing and a bad thing, guys. And I don't think I'm going to use sealant. Okay. Right on. So now, where's our new pump? And a big Phillips screwdriver. So, ADD, in his video, he put a little tiny bit of motor oil in here. He said that these have a high return rate. Where are we? Here. Oh, I've got to take a little bit of telephoto out of there. Okay, let's just pour some motor oil into there. Sounds like a pump. Good. A little bit of motor oil on the face there. And I've got the old screws, but I did put their washers on there. And I think that's how it goes in.
spilling a little bit of its oil, but that's okay. Okay, I gotta back you guys up just a little bit so I can see. So I have learned so much from this little motor. I learned enough that I will actually not be afraid to repair one from now on. Oh, forgot the gasket. You guys are going, gasket, gasket! Funny you need a gasket with that rubber, with that liner gasket in there. But, they send you one, so you use it. Okay. Okay, redo. Listen to that. Isn't that a beautiful sound? The fuel pump's waking up. All right. Okay. So I'm going to disconnect the fuel, turn off the gas off this little tank I got. I'll disconnect the fuel off the carburetor. Pull this out. It's going to drip a little bit. And wipe up some mess. And we're going to lower that. I'm going to turn you off for a minute and we're going to lower that pump down. Okay, we've got our, our tank running horizontally now, so there's no way we can gravity feed this engine. There's no gas in that hose up through our fuel pump and out and I just want to see if it if it pumps into that dish I'm not going to turn on the ignition I'm just going to turn the engine over Perfect. That's really, really nice. I'm almost tempted to put a fuel filter in there. No, it's going to be okay. Now we're going to hook this up to the carburetor and we should get lift off without leakage. I'm a little bit worried that the float in there. No, the needle on the needle and seat, it actually just floats. That's what I was going to say. But uh, let's just see how good this is. We'll close this fuel, fuel clamp like we might never have to use it again. Right there. Good, I love it. Now, let's just turn on our, we'll back you up. We'll see if we have lift off. Ignition. Choke. Probably won't need choke now. Sorry I got in your way there. It's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, my friends. I've got the engine bolted down to this piece of plywood. It's been wandering all over the place and probably scratching my bench. But now I have the fuel pump, uh, the fuel tank secured below the fuel pump, right? I don't have a fuel filter in it, but all the gas is clean. Uh, a little battery hooked up just for oh temporary. The gas line runs around and then into the this side of the fuel pump, out of this side of the fuel pump, and into the carburetor. So let's just do one final, man. It should start, and I want to just double, triple, quadruple check that the battery is charging. 12.99 volts. I don't know if you can see that, but that's all right. Now let's just see if she turns over and starts. Oh, ah, now turn it on. How many times has that happened in life, right? I don't know, maybe it's good. Happy. So now what do I do with it? I'm not sure. Okay my friends, I'm going to lift up my Kohler motor, but I'm not going to use my back anymore. I'm going to use my hoist. I've got it chained and clipped to the arm lift of the motor. Oh, yeah. that. I'm just going to lift it up and we're going to I'm going to put a new piece of wood on here that I've cut and uh, so as soon as I'm ready for that I'll come back. i got a couple more holes to cut. So I learned this kind of thing from Zippo because I am hurting myself too much lifting things. up my, my bench eh? oh. and these are not carriage bolts okay Like inch and a half carriage bolts. All right, got the, the board on before I put it on my lift. Isn't that a lo lovely thing? I can clamp it. I can run it. I can put it somewhere. 
I'm going to rehook it back up again just because it's just too much fun for me. But then I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. There's my chain hoist. I might leave it there actually and then tie the chains back up that direction. Tie the chains back up that direction. Looks like a good spot, doesn't it? But it's a little hard on the hook right there. So I'll figure something out. Okay, let's get this hook back up. Okay, Kohler 10 horsepower is no longer on my bench. Yay! And it's here. I put it all on this cute little piece of wood here, except the battery. Tie wrap the wires. Okay, the wiring is not perfect, but it's all it's it's a legit. And uh, strap the battery down so it wouldn't uh, crawl away on me. And just watch this. This is just like a trip down memory lane for a lot of you guys. Although Ken from Ken Small Engine says he's got ten of these in the basement. That's a good spouse, eh? So here, and look at that. Light. Are you ready? Now, now let's just turn it down. Isn't that cool? It's all there. It's not, it's not painted, but everything's legit. This is just to keep the battery from running into the into the flywheel here. This. Yeah, let's turn her up a little bit. They, they shouldn't run too long because they don't lubricate that well when they're just for half a turn. So anybody who's ever owned one of these, they say they love that last few gasps when it's sucking air. So there we go. When I look at it, it, does, it doesn't look like it's a lot of work, eh? Because it's still a, a beat up. Okay, some guys like that patina. I don't like that look. <laughs> but she's done. And I can just undo these clamps and put it on my table over there. Or I can uh, put it back on the bench or do whatever I want to with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give away the tank to whoever buys it. I don't know if I've got any more gas leaks. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't think we do. Isn't that a beautiful thing? So thanks for watching this, guys. I'm not sure if I'm done with the series yet or not. Okay. Since I changed my name to Bruce's shop, this is the first time the main bench has been clean. <laughs> I know it's crazy, eh? Now, yes, projects and projects here. That's okay. I mean, that allowed projects, right? That's the project bench.